Welcome back to World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade Classic Blind. I'm just trying to get towards where my quests are here, being attacked by lake spirits. Well, that's okay. Looking through the quests we have here. Trying to do the ones for the guys at the Throne of the Elements. Just kind of getting those all put together here. The first one is very close by. Yeah, muck diving. Doesn't appear to be in this area. Southwest beneath the PvP area. Yeah. Anything else from the guys at the. Throw the elements over there. Gun. Landing. Talar. Talar. Windrock. Windrock Mastery is way up there. Interesting. Okay, I think we can work with that though. So, first one here is a rare bean. We need to find digested caracoli in dung heaps to the west. Talbuck Thorn Grazer. That might be the right one for the. Oh, come on. But you can't even leave the lake. Oh, maybe we can. That might be the right tall buck for the hunting quests. I'm not doing that right now. Interestingly, it looks like we've gotten the area buff here. Increases all damage done by 5%. Interestingly, the horde controls all the camps. The Alliance has the middle, and zero guards remaining, which is concerning. Okay. Here we are, to the west. We need to find stone piles or something. This might be one of those situations where we want to turn down the foliage. There's some rock guys. Enraged crushers. I don't know if those count for anything. Oh, here's one. Yeah, this, this is going to be a turn down the grass. Absolutely. There's one. It smells a little funny. As expected. Okay. If we go into system, maybe graphics, environment detail, or right. ground clutter, I suppose is what we want. Hey, hey there we go. Yep, it definitely looks a bit more plain with one one tenth of the grass, maybe. But it does make this a lot easier. Because we need to find 15 of these. And the grass here in Nagrand is doing very well for itself. Yeah, we can see even further away. Up until a certain point, it doesn't even spawn in the grass. Which is super convenient. The horde is gaining control. Well, that's not good. 
I mean, they did have all four of the camps already, so. We can't be too surprised. Storm guy. And there's no guards, so that's also probably not helping. We can mine this. Maybe we'll try mining this. Somebody else went through the effort of killing us. And we're getting crystalline fragments from it. That's very similar to all those times when there is things that you can skin. And somebody just comes and skins it. But this time it's rocks. So we're actually pretty much in the right place for that. Also, here's some fell iron. That's also good. Our inventory is getting very full. But that's not a bad thing. This is a very easy quest. Just go pick up some stuff, the quest. And it seems like we're getting one in every pile, so that's also nice. Yeah, Thorn Grazers. Pretty sure that's the right one. Even though they're close by, we can just walk to them. Don't need any buffs for this quest, that's for sure. Would be interesting to figure out the exact distance where it's worth not getting back on the mount. Because there's going to be a distance. Because it's definitely faster than just running. At some point, at least. There's a regular lake spirit. It's chilling. Going back in the lake. And yeah, there's, there's just tons of these specific tall butt guys, so that'll be good for later. Almost done here. Then we can move on to something a little more not this. And there's a cleft hoof bowl. I think that's the right cleft hoof too. They're aggressive, though. That's something. Okay. So now we can turn back on grass. It's a system. It's a system. Alright. What's next? Tortured Earth Spirits. That's an enraged crusher. That's not the same thing. Find spirits through mountains, your hills, and rocks, and earth, put them to sleep. I mean, we, can, we can try. When it says tortured earth spirit, it simply means tortured earth spirit. Then. Worth a shot since we're right here, I suppose. Also, we get to mine them, so even if this isn't the right rock guy. We are still in a good place. Nope. Not a tortured earth spirit. Okay. And the horde is taking control. They still don't have any guards, though. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe since they have control of the camps, the guards will come in or something. This one is down in... Oh, underneath that area. Yeah. Just mine this again. Wait, mine it again. Okay. Multiple mining. Got another 
fragment thingy. And then it just disappears. Okay. Much like a rock. Except the rock can attack me. So the tortured earth spirits are going to be around here somewhere. Let's go, go get rid of the muck guys next. That's just another enraged crusher, which apparently doesn't count. That's a rock and a bowl. Get down. Yep. Well, yep. It's either better going down the other way there. Oh, this is okay. This is okay. This is the Halani Basin. And there's a muck guy. Perfect. Um. I guess we can. I guess we can put some buffs on. We got tons of these dense sharpening stones, so might as well use them. Might as well. We only need five muck cores. Well, with a number like five, it might not be a hundred percent chance. We got poison attacks. There's the nature damage. Not ideal. I think I did a bit of damage there. And we did not get a muck core. These are definitely the right guys, though. We're in the right place. They're named muck spawn. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. A lot of elementals here in Nagrand. Slow him down. All your poison. S stacking on the poisons. Fantastic. Do. Yeah, decent amount of damage. We might be stacking the poisons. That could be what's doing more damage here. To try the next one that we fight. See if it starts off with only one poison. Elementals seem to use more magic type stuff. Which we don't seem to fare as well against, typically. Starting with only one poison. Now it's got two stacks, yeah. We're just getting poison stacks. Doing a whole bunch of extra damage to us. That's how it usually works with like Sunder armor, so I'm assuming that's the same kind of system. Okay, all the poison guys are really next to each other. Or muck guys. They're muck and they're poison, so that's fine. We're here. Ah, oh boy. Now we've done it. Now we've done it. Oh, they're gonna stack so many poisons on me if we don't get this done fast. Slightly different. A muck sludge. Okay. Let's we'll just see what that was. And whether or not it's better or worse than the poison. There's a water moat. Okay. 
Let's go with a bandage to get faster healing here. And then follow it up with a well fed buff. Because these guys are a bit dangerous for us here. Definitely, if we fought like three, would definitely be problematic. So, a little bit of extra stamina. Not a bad idea. There's probably some kind of. I don't know if that would count as a spell that we could interrupt in some way. It's just a poison attack. Almost in the Hawaiian Basin. Yep, that's where we are. Destroy them. Spawns of muck must physically be removed from the world once destroyed. Destroy these muck spawns, bring out their muck green chorus. Am I destroying the muck spawns? Globules of tainted debris. Um, I'm seeing more of armbands. I think that's more flavor text than anything. We're probably fine. Also, there's some adamantite over there, which I'm going to take. Hmm. This goes into our second pile of adamantite in our inventory, which is nice. Yeah, they got the guards now. But nobody controls the camps. I haven't messed with that whole PDC system in this area. So I don't know exactly how it works. Probably something like you need to control the camps and then after that you attack the middle, and then you get guards. All right, here this is. Time to attacks increase by 50%. Spell cast time increase by 50. And it's also a poison, right? Makes me slower and a poison, so. That is very much in the it is worse category. This is both a poison and a slow. It's not great. Launching straight into it, huh? Bummer. Also, it's not entirely clear. Seems, it seemed to keep the full number of stacks when it's stacked like that. There's a core. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if letting it get another stack would basically refresh the entire thing. Good, though. In that case, slowing down their attacks could be very beneficial. It's, it's two now, and it doesn't shrink back to only one stack when the time would have been correct for that. Hmm. Possible. A nice whole list of debuffs here. Still 
Still the Cracked Mutts spawns. As we wander around down here. Below the PvP area. Oh yeah, cool sword. Cool. A darkened broadsword of stamina. Two-handed sword. 67.6 .6 damage per second. 69 stamina. That is a lot of stamina. Fascinating. No known auction price on that. But again, it's a green item, so. Probably wouldn't sell it anyway. Definitely worse than our weapon. That is a lot of stamina on that. Still, that's an 8 gold drop. Just off this muck guy. So I'm not complaining. Just a random 8 gold fall in my lap. Yes, please. I will take it. And a core. Two out of five. We seem to be doing better with the poison. For whatever reason. We got a decent selection of drops in these guys. Most of water have good value, so that's also nice. And we got another inventory spot being taken up by the emotes of water. Already got ten of these from earlier. There's a fragment. There's poison damage galore. Use a small bandage. It's, it's not that much smaller. Even though it is. Oh, did the poison damage knock off the demand advantage? Well, that's unfortunate. Great things are going, we might get a little low on pods. That's what the fish is for. So if we ever get into that situation, we are actually fine. It is, it is atypical where we need to eat that many things. But I'm prepared for the eventuality. And we're muck guys. There's an enraged crusher. That's not right. And then all of my extra buffs activate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No poison bowl for you. My goodness. Maybe that. Maybe that. Maybe that. And this just lets us do more damage. Oh yeah. We're figuring this out. Or at least we're figuring out the mess that we've made for ourselves. Okay, we've created a new mess. New and exciting, new and exciting mess. It's called getting attacked by multiple guys at the same time. And the second guy, also dead. Parts of the water here are shallow enough for us to walk on, and parts are not. We are short. I can't be too surprised. Man, there's another two-on-one situation there. 
Very good. Very good. To be aware of the potion cooldown. Don't want to be caught off guard on that. For the most part, we can try avoiding. multiple enemy scenarios here. Just need two more poison cores. And then go try to figure out where the specific rock guys they want are. I'm already in combat. Great. Attack some frog or something. Bring a lot of these crystal samples. That's good. I guess we technically had control of the base there at the beginning. But I don't know if we had 20 samples at that point, so. Probably wouldn't have been able to turn them in anyway. Either way. I would think that the rock guys that we're looking for should be nearby. Because the other parts of these guys' quests seemed relatively straightforward. But we will see. Assuming that we get the other monk cores first, of course. And there's another one. Fantastic. And this was from the rock elemental guy, so it's not exactly. Ah, oh, there it is. Southeast. Put to sleep to our basin southeast. All right. There we go. That's a bit more information to go on. I can work with that. Rock guys in the Talari Basin. We're in the Alani Basin right now, so that's not the right place. It is for the muck guys, then. It is for the muck guys. And there we go. Muck core. Now we just need to get out of here. Give me them. This way up. Might be kind of on the wrong side of a lot here. And we tried going in there before, when it was horde guards, and it was hugely problematic. Destroyed wyvern roost. Open it. Oh, that activates PvP. There we go. Fantastic. Good choices. That's a wyvern. Oh wow, I'm on it. Why? I guess that just leads to, lets us fly over to the other side. Well, that's convenient. I guess that's less of a PvP situation and more of a... Where are we going? I have been kidnapped. <laughs> are we just gonna fly around the whole area? More of a, I guess it's more of a scouting thing and not a transportation thing. Maybe if you have more of the roosts, you could actually stop there. But we we only have the one, so we're just gonna we're just gonna fly around, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they got 15 guards in there. The guards level 65. 
So presumably you would take out the 15 guards and then you could try capturing it or something. But it was just recently captured, so it's probably not the best plan right now. I wouldn't think. So the Chilari Basin's probably maybe here. Would you fly me to Talar? That'd be very convenient. Mastery Elite Quests. That's the... That's gonna be the... Final Safari Quests. Which we don't have. Okay, we're back over here. Good, I guess. Mm. Try to head south here. That should work. Just not, not down the waterfall, though. Swim across here. That'll work. And from here we should be good. That might be another bit of water to deal with, but overall that should work. That should be fine. We got some fire. Oh, we can firebomb. Throw on your enemies from above. Deals 900 to 1100 fire damage and deals damage equal to 1% of the target's total health every second. Okay, so we could we could have firebombed them while we were flying around. Interesting. I can't use that here either, okay. I was saying, maybe that's gonna be something we could use, but don't really need those. Presumably you could pick those up all over the time. Right. There's more up this way. Let's head this way. Tortured Earth Spirits. There's a ravenous wind rock. It's probably the second wind rock. They're just over here, in general. That is the big rock over there. That's not where we need to be. It's gonna be somewhere near Talar, at any rate. Same rock guy. Basin might mean it's the area down below here. Uh, I'll look over this bridge, see if there's actually anything down there. Give me a little information here. Not gonna try to fall off though. Those are just enraged crushers again. This is the Talari Basin though. So, maybe very specifically they need the Talari Basin Rock Crusher, guys. How do we get down there? There's a path leading over from the north. Let's see if we can get down there. There we go. So you're you're the enraged crusher. This is the Talari Basin. Tortured Earth Spirits. Maybe I just can't see them. This way works too. It's a basin. There's multiple entrances, I suppose. Nice floating island there you could stand on. That'd be fun. Some dream and glory. Rage Crusher. We're still in the Tulare Basin, so I'll give it a shot. Also, we get to mine them. So it's also a plus. Let's see if we can turn off PvP. Very disabled. Yeah, it's probably fine. Worst case scenario, we get randomly annihilated. Wouldn't it be the first time? Get some essence. Get some motes of earth. That's pretty good. Yeah, that one didn't count as a tortured earth spirit either. 
Looks like an earth spirit. Looks fairly tortured. Hmm. Oh, you see the guy's walking on a bridge or something. Or no, that, that's that's a rock guy. Up higher. Shadows kind of go through things sometimes, I guess. That's a nice waterfall. Some rapids. Wrong kind of rock guy, as far as I can tell. This is a very nice area. If it wasn't for the giant rocks trying to beat me up. Aside from that, everything's pretty great. There's a tortured earth spirit. There's the smaller ones. Oh, leave me to go on another earth guy. So 15 tortured earth spirits. Possibly sharing the same spawning with the bigger rock guys. So I might end up needing to mine both of them. Or fight. Fight and then mine both of them. There's an enraged crusher. Yeah, the tortured earth spirits are slightly lower level. Which I guess isn't too surprising since they're also smaller. Okay. So they're just gonna be around this area. I can work with that. They do get mad and larger though. So that's good. You have plenty of motes of earth. How's that pile doing? That pile is doing it is two piles currently. Oh our inventory space. I think we will stop off in Pilar and sell some stuff before we head back to the Throne of Elements. Oh, we can mine stuff. I'd like to mine stuff, please. That's a good idea. Yeah, 15 silver for just mining that. No complaints here. No complaints here. We do have the mining level easily. Pretty sure mine's maxed. Check the skills here. Yeah, mining's maxed. If that works. Uh. This looks like it's gonna be exiting the base in here. Once the area set doesn't say Talari base, we're probably not in the right spot. Yeah, this is just affecting that grand. And more enraged crushers. Take some nice fall damage. It's pretty steep. Pretty steep getting down here into the basin. You want to fight the crushers. Just in case. And also, there's no harm to it. More experience, more rocks. It's all good. The Enraged Crusher can become Enraged, shocking no one. I've got 20 Elemental Fragments now. I can pop into another inventory space, possibly. Not really anywhere to go that way. Other sections of this basin? Other sides? This might be it. This might be it. We can also cook our various meats. We're probably going to get more of those from the next safari quests. Yep. Another inventory space with elemental fragments. Good. Uh. 
shallow enough water here, we can just run past. There could be some more. There could be some more basin out this way. And we got some wind rocks. Not aggressive, but we need to be aware to not hit them a whole bunch. There's adamantite items. There's. Right, I try to go get that. Mining all sorts of stuff. Mining all sorts of stuff. If it's up, we need to go up this way, probably. It's gonna be a little bit of a trek around here, but I do probably need the adamantite. So I will, I will take it. Right on this way. There's some tortured earth spirits. They're just in the area, I suppose. Oh yeah, here we go. This is where we need to be. It's tortured earth spirit central. All these? Fantastic. Perfect location. See, coming up to get this adamantite really worked out for us. If I have to drop something for inventory space, what's that gonna be? We will worry about that if it becomes a problem. It's becoming a problem. I mean, we can... We can turn the molts of earth into a primal earth. And they Blacksmithing department? Mining department, maybe? Just click on them. There we go. That is saving us one inventory slot at least. Let's not fall off a cliff. I can see that definitely happening. But yeah, these guys are probably gonna drop. Plenty more modes of earth. And based on those auction prices, making primal earths is profitable. Don't know how far you'd actually get with that idea, but here we are. Yeah, three more from him. Wow. Really expanding our rotation here. Adding in a thunderclap. It's a pretty big deal for me. I'm doing additional things. Weaken him. Strengthen me. Weaken him. Oh, And then, we only have the two stacks of water moats, so even turning one of those into a primal water wouldn't be helpful, because it would still be two inventory spaces. Probably should probably heal after this one. Should probably heal after this one. Doing a lot better than we were against the muck guys, that's for sure. Alright, still need some more. Yeah, a lot of these are gray items. So we can easily pawn these off on some poor, poor merchant.
losing the well fed buff here. We only have so many more things to fight, so. We'll probably be fine. But our well fed buffs are not a hugely limited resource at this point. Also, another adamantite spawned over there. Which I'll go take, of course. That's a very good respawn on that. We just mined one right next, right nearby. Flying mounts would be very nice for mining, as we've seen a few people doing it at some points. There we go. All this over here might also be. Is this a good way to go down? Doesn't really look like it. Let's go down the path instead. It's probably a better plan. Don't need to take a whole bunch of extra damage for no reason. Or we can just fight the guys we need to fight right here where they already are. That works too. That works too. Tortured Earth Spirits. Yep. It'll be interesting to see if there is more story and lore about how all the elements is going crazy out in here. Don't think we really need to use Death Wish for any of this, though. Oh, we've angered a second guy. I am significantly less worried than I would be in other situations here. That. Armor decreased by 900. I continue to use that, assuming that armor is just a thing that happens for everything. Either way, that's fine. Any more of those rock guys? Now head back down. Just need three more. It's going pretty well. Here's one. All the different buffs and debuffs definitely help. There's been very few times when we've been able to make use of mining after combat like this. There's been significantly more with skinning. But then we want to get to mine all the things, so. I'm good with this. Just need one more. Our health is very low. Another mode of earth. Yeah, a lot of gray items from these guys. Which is okay. Just a big old pile of extra money. It is acceptable. Any more rock guys up here? Also heading down. Technically, we're in the basin right now. Even though it doesn't really look like it. Since we're up on the top. Let's see, we'll go across the bridge here. Maybe best to just go down this way. You could totally jump to that floating island. That'd be pretty neat. That's the wrong rock. I'm more enraged crushers down this way. Enraged crusher. 
Mage Crushers. Mage Crushers. Might be slightly out of luck. For small rock guys. There we go. Also a Corium Bane. Grab that. Interesting. That's got a decent value. And Shadow Draenite. Also good. More Motes of Earth. You could ever dream of having. Nearby Wild Elec means probably do not all the screams and slams. I can't do it. Would also probably be a good idea to head to a bank. So maybe we could yeah, look, at, look at our inventory. If we get if, if we get any rewards from these quests, they're probably not gonna fit. Alright. Let's head back to Throne of the Elements. Because I think at this point I think it's probably worth getting to a bank. And to get to a bank, our best bet is Shatrath. Straight north from here, we're good to go. An ore. Assuming we can fit this ore in our backpack. <laughs> More fell iron. We got fell iron. We got amantite. We got corium. All sorts of stuff. Fantastic. Yeah, just just the ores themselves are taking up a huge amount of space here too. Probably worth dealing with. There's the right spirit. Again. Oh, look at these guys. They're elite. Level 70 elites. Probably not a good strategy for me. Probably do not want. Okay. Very good. Don't know if I'm gonna get to an auction house though. That's a little bit more than just going to the bank and a vendor. I could. It'd be fine. I don't think either of these recipes require anything else. No, they're just the meats. Don't need any spices or anything. Convenient. Okay. If we're getting items from these, we're going to be short on inventory space. But we'll see what we get. Way back, we discovered that they did do the inventory stuff correctly, so we can turn in and get an item from the same Me inventory space. Survive. A rare bean. On this lap, makes two fists and shakes his head in disapproval. Ogre sized. Yeah, I got him. There's 15. Please do not wash yourself in the sacred waters of the throne. Sorry. Up holds a prepared. Kirkoli tablet up. Place this under your tongue and allow it ample time to dissolve. Once it's dissolved, you'll be able to breathe water as if it was air. Ten hours of water breathing. And 11,000 XP. And a new quest. 
Agitated spirits of Sky Song. The disturbance in the ebb and flow of the waters of Nagrand has greatly agitated the water spirits of Sky Song Lake. They have, in turn, begun sowing destruction throughout the waterways of the area. Watu Son of the Water has come to us in a vision and granted us permission to remedy the problem so long as the source of the disturbance is also dealt with. We'll get to the source, but first we must deal with the problems immediate to the throne. Destroy the agitated lake spirits and return to me. Yeah, so that's very nearby. So long. But we definitely need to Hello, leave. Because we couldn't we couldn't hold their drops. So muck diving. Now leave any tainted muck behind. I'm gonna say that I didn't. The Earth and Ring thanks you, Eric Erickson. The elements also give their thanks. Continued efforts in cleansing our world are appreciated and noted. Lapse muck diving pads. Shoulder armor. It's mail instead of plate, so significantly less armor. Less agility, less stamina. It's got some intellect. And equivalent less strength. So, that's worse. Some plate feet. So, more armor for sure. Half of the strength. A little more stamina. Some intellect. And no dodge or hit rating or agility. So, that's probably worse. In general. By a lot. And leather armor. With way less armor. Less strength. Less agility. Little stamina. So, we're just going to take the most expensive one here. Which is the galoshes. Go on, then. What you need. Got that one still. We can turn in this quest. The Tortured Earth. Go dog nods in approval. Good. Spirits sleep now. Eating damnation. Alright. Let's do that. Sounds like a good idea. Gordog picks up a rock and begins to chew on it. Gordog tastes. Gordog knows where this earth has been. Gordog raises one of his massive legs and stops the ground. Look, see Nagrand. Gordon directs you to the imprint of his foot. Within the imprint, you see what appears to be a perfect geological map of Nagrand. I mean, I guess you can do that. You're the... You're a whole earth elemental. Doing earth stuff is what you do. Mark the locations of where you can find the elements. Where it wants you to destroy. Break them. and go drag the pieces to eat. Take the map. I don't have space for a map. Give me, a, give me a second here. Give me a second. Uh, two feathers. I will take your map. I mean, can we really take the map? Maybe we can make a like a an etching of it or something. If it's just in the ground here. Find the elementals Greg wants you to destroy. 15 Enraged Crusher Cores. I mean, it's just Enraged Crushers. Gordog's imprint, soulbound, unique. Search of Gordog's map, imprint, displayed, location of Enraged Crushers. I mean, we've already found Enraged Crushers, but if there's specific ones he cares about, I can look at it. Oh, look at all this. That's a very impressive map you've made, Gordog. Very impressive. Well, let's see what these boots look like. If we're not going to use them. They're yellow. That clashes horribly. Compared to our green and bare feet we're still going with. Okay. Alright, let's get out. Out of here. Even though we have another quest right nearby. We just do not have the space for it right now. Go to Iron Forge first. We can do our banking and selling there too. That'd be fine. So my goodness, do we need to? Don't die on the lift here. Hey, 
Head into the middle. You you would think they could install some railings or something. Forge. It is a slightly less convenient location to spawn in here. But it is a magical portal to the magic area, so you can't exactly be too surprised. Head on this side to go to the shop and the bank. Then we also have stuff in our mailbox to also deal with. But, but again, we literally do not have the inventory space to deal with it right now. Also, let's repair stuff. Generally a good plan. Brittle horns, tail, dirty fur, loose pants. Multiple feathers, beaten talon, soulbound shoes we don't want, moldy, shiny, dirty, shards, cores, fragments, more fragments. It's got a value, but it's also a gray item, so we don't believe them. Expensive sword of making me some money here. So this is basically useful stuff. Be good. I think I will bring the cherries along. There's this there's this there's some amount of water there. So we might be spending some time underwater at some point here. Put away the ores. I don't know if we need the most of water. I keep the Earth and fire. Just in huge piles in here. We got some gems we haven't used before. And we, we had one of those before, that's fine. Adamantite, Ternium, Corium, and so on, Draenite. Ah, this is a sellable item. I'll store these for now. Alright, we get the spicy crawdad recipe actually. 350, cooking. The rest of these are blacksmithing, which we need to do at some point. Cook these. These are quest items. Yeah, we got this one charge potion of water breathing. That's one hour, and these are ten hours. We got eleven hours of water breathing, all things considered. That's nice. Spicy crowd ads. And that requires a furious crawdad. Fascinating. It's a stamina and spirit. High level well type buff item. Perfect. We can also make all these here too. Option expired on these looks like. Which we put those in for. We'll see if they have any current offers. Otherwise, I'll put them in for pretty cheap. I think that's the second time we've tried to sell the silk, though. Let's just scan anyway. One of the lower amount of times between scans that we've done recently. Yeah, that was in February. That's actually recent-ish. So if we put this in for... Well, is it really recent-ish? Let's go 10 gold, I have no idea. Somebody might like it. Got some most of water. You know I'm in smaller stacks. Stack of four, stack of three. I 
don't know if you just need them as primal water. Uh, let's do... Let's do stacks of two. Eight stacks of two. In case we'll want smaller numbers of those. There's a super mana potion. Wow, that's not gonna... These are more realistic prices. There are really not very many super mana potions right here, right now. Can I sell that? Four stacks of one. I've had very little luck selling these, so let's give them a very nice offer. Just get rid of them. This is in here. For only four gold. Four gold or 149 gold. Sometimes the prices, I swear. How about this one? 46 in December. It's 210 for a level 32 thing. I doubt that's actually really worth anything at this point. I don't think we're going to get much for that. So I'll just go and put these... Four hundred and forty-three gold now. Not bad. Maybe we can do some cooking. We got roasted cleft hoof, which is another well-fed buff item stack. The tall buck steaks we at least have some already. That's going to be five inventory spaces taken up with. Well fed buff items. And it's already in green. There will be less cooking levels here too. Ah well. We're doing okay in cooking. Yeah, at this rate, the spicy crawdad is the only high level cooking recipe we have left. And I don't know where to get those. I'm sure we'll find them eventually though. Not, not worried about it. If it's already green at 358, I don't know if we'd be able to get this to 375 with these. We're probably going to get more of these meats. Fighting more of these guys for the safari quests. Oh, some of them went at 360. Some of them went gray. Still, not bad. Nice bit of cooking levels here. Yeah. From 351 to 361. Furious crawdads. Crawdad sushi. Amazing. You can go down here. This is agility, this is stamina, and this is strength. That's really good. Spirit. I guess it is stamina. They all give spirit. Alright. So now I need to wait around here in Iron Forge for at least an hour. Or realistically, 47 hours. Then I can use my Hearthstone back to Shatrath, fly back over to Talar. And continue doing more of these quests. We actually have a slightly smaller number of quests now. Just 22 being used up for spaces here. But I think we're going to continue with the Throne of the Elements, guys. So, I'm going to get back up there so we can do the Water Elemental part. Or we can... I think if we start at Talar... 
So that's like right here. Yeah, we can start there and work our way through all these. Whether we need to fight them all in these different locations, we will we will find out. Well that is next time. Goodbye.